Hi, this is JC from Small Brick City, and this is an overview video of our LEGO City. Now, it's still work in progress, so there's still a lot of detailing and texturing to be done, but I'll give you a good idea of the overall layout. The entire city fits within a 6 foot by 2 foot space, or more accurately, it's a 7 base plates by 2.5 base plates. That's the standard 32 stud base plate. Now, this is just an overview video, so check out the link in the description as well as the pinned comment for a detailed backstory on this particular brick city. I will also go into individual deep dive videos into specific buildings and sections of the city. But for now, let me tell you a bit about the concept of the layout. As this is a small brick city, it's a multi-level display where each level represents a specific cross-section of the town. While they are not physically linked, they are connected in concept, relative position, and imagination. So each cross-section is part of the same city. Seen in its entirety, the multi-level display represents a logical overview of a large town relative to the small area space it takes up. It currently consists of approximately 62,000 pieces of LEGO with a total of over 50 sets of mocks, that's my own creations, and more than 150 minifigs. This is the main beach front uh, because the town or this section of the town is actually called Brick Beach and you have to imagine that the beach extends to the right of the display where the white wall is. So really the beach continues all the way so this is really the start of the beach front and it starts off with some beachside vacation houses. All these are modified official LEGO sets. They've either been expanded or stuff has been added such as toilets. I always think uh, LEGO cities don't have enough toilets so I always make sure that each of my buildings have toilets. And as you can see it's a really dense and crowded beach as you imagine any popular beach. This is a great little mock over here. It's my interpretation of a mock created by user Gene3S on mock pages.com and it is a rock climbing wall and the difference I made is I have an auto belay system as you can see to keep the climber up. The rest of the beachfront is crowded sun deck chairs, ice cream vendor, lifeguard and that building there is a beach activity station or rental hut and that's a modified version of the Lego official set beach hut. And the entire beachfront is overlooked by the Parisian Restaurant, a very popular modular building. Further down from the Parisian Restaurant is the Brick Bank and that overlooks or is next to my Town Square Park, uh, which is flanked by the Lego Ninjago City. And as you can see, I have a monument over there, which is uh, really the main wall that leads up to the main street. And over here, this is a favorite of mine, uh, this is a little uh, lift, I guess, uh, for disabled uh, people or for prams so that they can access the main street above down to the town square. As you can see, the town square is packed with activity just like any town should be. Now we're back to the beach and this is an overview shot of the beach but I'd like to bring you to the upper section of my town because uh, this display is actually split into two levels and the upper display that you see right over here, that's the main street. And right now this section of the street is closed off for a film set. Uh, that's why a lot of people hanging out, uh, being barricaded by the police officers as they're watching a film in action. Now this particular level is built on a wooden riser. In fact, the entire level is built on a wooden riser which elevates this main street. And the main street itself doesn't allow any vehicles except official vehicles such as the city bus or cleaners. I tried to connect the main street to the lower street with different devices. And over here you can see that I have a bridge which links the top level on my main street with the second floor of the Persian restaurant and we have a couple looking at the menu and we do have a greeter at the door for the Persian restaurant. I think it's important for any LEGO city to have a sense of vibrancy and life. If not, it's really just a collection of brick buildings. And the way to create the sense of vibrancy is to add in minifigs and to create scenes involving the minifigs. I try to create at least two scenes for every 32 stud area space and these include static scenes and dynamic scenes. A static scene is basically the minifigs engaging in everyday mundane activity, just like any real city. 
Dynamic scenes are more interesting. They engage and entertain an audience because they may tell a story or show something interesting going on. This is an example of a dynamic display. And it's also ironic because it's the fire brigade on fire. So we have all the firemen desperately trying to put out the fire, with the fire chief calling commands. We have a minifig fireman coming out from the second floor of the ladder. So it's just a very interesting scene, very different from the static scenes that you saw earlier on. Next to the fire brigade is the Angel of Mercy Medical Center. This is a mock or my own creation and it was designed based on plans sold by LG Orlando who originally designed this as a hotel but I redesigned and rebuilt it and made it into a medical center. It's got four stories and the ground floor has an ER and operating theater but I'll do a deep dive video on this very mock very soon so look out for it. So this is the main display of Brick Beach. Let's go up to the next level, which represents a cross-section of another part of town. Uptown represents a cross-section of a different part of Brick Beach. This is on the outskirts of the Brick Beach main town, which you saw earlier on, and is geographically in between the Brick Beach main town and the larger unseen metropolitan city further away. It comprises of three main sections, a suburb residential area, a small town centre, and over here we have the older part of town which is not as well maintained. There's a river with the old fishing store, and behind it we have train tracks with the train, as well as a bridge. You have to imagine that the entire display extends beyond the wall on the right, and that's where imagination has to come in. The centre of Uptown is really the little town centre which caters to this entire section of town. And this is the left side of the display which is the more developed suburban residential area. That's why there are newer looking bungalows, villas and houses. You have to imagine that the display extends way past on the left. So let's move on from the Uptown to the Highlands. This is the highest display in my Lego town. It's really different, so let's have a look at it right now. The Highlands is an underdeveloped area on higher ground away from Brick Beach's main town and its suburbs. It's an overgrown forest and jungle and is rumored to hide ancient ruins and hidden treasures. Explorers and archaeologists are constantly exploring the area, hoping to make a big discovery. One end of the display holds the Explorer's campsite, complete with equipment and camping gear. This leads to the River Expedition site, which starts off with the suspension bridge over the river onto some rocky terrain. Now this rocky terrain leads to a set of ruins, guarded by an alligator underneath. Now these ruins happen to have some treasure which explorers can find, but next to it is the crash site of an aeroplane. Both the aeroplane and the set of ruins actually sit on a riverbed. You have to imagine that the river runs from the back of the display all the way to the front. On the other side of the river bank, the terrain is much drier. There are rock formations and also an ancient hidden temple. So we have explored three levels of our Lego city. But for any small brick city, we have to maximize space. And we maximize space by using one more level underneath our main town. And for this, we're going underground, underwater, deep sea. This is an underwater display of two modern shipwrecks. In fact, two vessels apparently have crashed together and sank, one larger one and one smaller one. As you can see, there are a team of explorers in submersibles and divers investigating the shipwreck. There also seems to be an underwater base. However, this underwater base wasn't built for these shipwrecks. It was because they discovered something else over the cliff into a chasm deep down in the sea. The explorers discovered a bigger, older shipwreck, which is why they set up the underwater base. So the explorers sent down even more divers, submersibles and bigger submarines to investigate. The explorers actually found a big treasure trove of gold under the shipwreck, but they also found something else, an ancient lost underwater city. As you can see, there are castle structures 
covered in moss, seaweed, and weathered by the deep sea. Explorers have just begun to explore this underwater city. There's actually a secret with the city and the reason why all the ships have been sinking over the years. But to find out the secret, you have to check out the link in the description or the pinned comment. I hope you enjoyed this LEGO City overview. If you did, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment if you like a deep dive video of a particular build or a section of the city you saw. Head over to smallbrickcity.com to check out detailed posts and photos on even more LEGO displays for small spaces. Also check out the book Bricks for Small Places Design and build a stunning Lego city in a small space. Watch out for our next video very soon.